So that concert you've been looking at every year and every time it comes around, you're somehow not attending it? Yeah, no. That was your fault. And so I want to talk about something. There has been a lot of like memes and posts going around with a lot of positive comments and everything, which is great, right? It's great because some of them, yeah, some of them are toxic, but others are like just like a kind reminder of things you need to instill into your own life, right? And it's one, like we see it every so often and it talks about like not shrinking yourself, right? Don't shrink yourself for anyone or for anything. Be fully who you are and live within your own light, right? So many people will repost memes like this and wholeheartedly and 100% agree with it and they'll send it to everybody else and everything like that, right? And not saying that anybody's perfect because none of us are, but I just wanted to bring to light some things regarding that specific topic, shrinking yourself, um, that I don't think many people really consider as shrinking, you know? So we think of it in a larger sense, right? It's like, don't change who you are for nobody. But there are some ways that this also applies that I don't think that we all keep at the front of our minds. And sometimes I need a reminder and I wanted to remind you guys just in case this might help somebody that thinks similar to the way that I do. The overall purpose of this video is to put some ideas out there, some things that I consider shrinking, not just in the overall larger, like um, exaggerated sense, but just other ways that you can also shrink and if these things pile up too much then it will grow up to that exaggerated sense um but we don't need this to like sneak into our lives and then next thing we know we're just like wow i really lost myself you know so here are three ways that i just was thinking about randomly a minute ago um that also qualifies and is categorized as shrinking yourself the first one is very um it was common for me but it, i've gotten better with it over the years not telling people that you have to hang up the phone because you have things to do now this one yeah yeah like they make jokes about people like hey i gotta hang the phone up because i gotta uh, close my refrigerator or like i gotta hang up because i gotta i gotta do this thing like something that doesn't even require you hanging the phone up but i respect those videos because you really have to like honestly it might not be as extreme as i gotta close the refrigerator let me hang, hang my phone up but sometimes you do have to just use any excuse that you can to get off if you are not the person that's comfortable with just saying i have to hang the phone up sis listen do whatever you got to do however get to the thing that you need to get to um, I'm not condoning lying or nothing like that, but honestly, you if you need to get off that phone or you need to focus or you have to really realign yourself, do what you have to do to do that because nobody else is going to do it for you, you know. Now, this tends to fall in line with a lot of people who are people pleasers. If you are on the phone with somebody and you know you have something to do or someone else is calling on your other line or you just have something else to get to just in general, like you have to make sure that you're not staying within that conversation some people can really not like read the room some people cannot sense that you are ready to end a conversation so you have to do whatever you can to exit that situation and not just because you have something else to do but maybe it's just not the conversation for you maybe it's just time for the conversation to end and you've reached your level of um capacity with the topic or with the person you you have to do what you need to do to get rid of that if you don't do that then you are shrinking yourself you're forcing yourself to be in a situation that is no longer benefiting you whether if it's just a conversation a engagement with the person whatever you cannot compromise your bigger task more important task peace of mind for that just because you don't want that person to feel interrupted or um pushed to the side and they don't have to be pushed to the side maybe you can end it on a positive note like i would love to continue this conversation but you know or let's let's continue this conversation later on i have to you know or just whatever but you can leave you can leave it on a positive note but get what you got to get to don't shrink yourself another way that people tend to shrink themselves is not being honest about your own beliefs now when i say beliefs i know people's minds tend to go straight to religion right but not even just religion just like things that you enjoy doing right you don't want to be around a group of friends that um 
think that going skating is stupid. I love going skating. So I would never be around a bunch of people who think that like going skating, hanging outside, like things like that are stupid because now that's going to tend for me to do things that's tailored to them and their beliefs and things that they enjoy. And now I'm disregarding what I honestly truly would rather do. So that's why like sometimes it is good to um, go against the grain and see who's your people and who's not because you do have to adjust you don't want to be around so many people who have so many things different from you because now you are they do give you a sense of looking at the other side of life or the other side of things which is good to a certain extent however you don't want to ignore what you truly believe in what's truly for you so you want to be able to still live true to that this next one is similar to the previous one but this one is um you not making your own plans because you're so busy fulfilling plans for other people so if you're someone who has a lot of friends a lot of family a lot of people who you're just acquainted with or associated with there's always going to be birthdays coming up there's always going to be holidays coming up there's always going to be something a baby shower a gender reveal. listen these life events have so many new events like packed into it like you're just you're never you're never done celebrating like so um you have to make sure that especially like if if you're a person like me right like i have to have these like dedicated moments to um reevaluate things to replan things um i'm not a extreme planner or anything but maybe the beginning of the year i have to make sure i have all of my um vacations already lined out everything that i know i want to do for me lined out right so i can make sure i'm making time for those things and everything else just has to fit around it because if not now you're just like dang i never make time for me like you're always busy you're always doing something and you don't have that time for you to do things you really want to go to that concert you've been looking at every year and every time it comes around you're somehow not attending it yeah no that was your fault and we have to make sure that that's not happening anymore so yes that's another way of shrinking yourself a lot of times it happens unintentionally because life just moves fast and i know you want to show up for everybody and help the people that you love but love yourself first put your plans first and see how that works out and when you make your own plans you can invite those other people that you know you want to hang out with so that way this time it's not just dedicated to what they want to do you're not just being reactive to every moment now it's you are planning something intentional that you know you're going to love and you're inviting those other people that you love and you love hanging out with along with you so all in all all i really want to say is just stand up for yourself and make sure to follow your goals and not just your feelings when you follow your feelings that tends to go another way versus the things Versus aligning with the things that really matter to you the most and makes you most happy. And be prepared for some things to go wrong, right? Not wrong like you did the wrong thing. Um, because I don't really believe in doing the wrong thing if it's something that really matters to you, right? But things are going to go wrong with the people that are in your life sometimes. And if it goes wrong, then you just look at that as realignment. So you're going to eventually come across some people who enjoy the things that you typically enjoy. You are going to fall in line with the people who understand like, okay, listen, we can't be on the phone all day because I am a very busy person, but I still love you, right? But we will make sure that we catch up and we do something that we both enjoy later on when we both have time or whatever. But like, you'll find your people, they'll find you. So just be true to you don't shrink yourself even the ways that we least expect just put more thought into the things that you are doing or not doing um i think the easiest way is just check in with your body and see how you feel if what you are involved in at the moment what you're doing at the moment makes you feel uneasy or you're feeling something don't ignore that figure out what that is that might be you shrinking yourself you know so um yeah i hope that that was a reminder for somebody let me know if that helped you in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>